Welcome to another edition of T-Bone's Prime Cuts. I'm T-Bone. Welcome to the HQ. As you can see today, I'm wearing a Colorado Avalanche uh, All-Star Game jersey from when the All-Star Game was here. This is a Sackic jersey, so I just wanted to represent hockey, know that it's starting, and of course, uh, have to totally, totally uh, represent Denver, Colorado, because, you know, I give a hard time to the Denver fans, but they're the ones who uh, back me up nonstop. Anyway, uh, first things first, sponsors. Uh, a big shout out goes to Harry Mons and Bolt City Foods, uh, Street Foods. Um, happy one year anniversary. You know if you make it that far, if you make it a year in a food truck, you know the food's got to be good. So that's some good grub. So happy one year anniversary to you, Harry, and thank you for your sponsorship. Uh, also, you can follow them on Twitter at Bull City ST Foods, at Bull City ST Foods. Uh, next sponsor uh, isn't a businessman, but he's a brother. He's part of the Top Bananas uh, and K Top's Kick App, and that would be uh, uh, Carl Taylor. Uh, words can't express my gratitude. It truly, uh, you know, from the heart, uh, very emotional uh, about it and about the way you guys support me and all that. So I appreciate it, but Carl Taylor has been my biggest financial sponsor, and it's very important that he gets that recognition because he's a quality, quality dude. Uh, also, uh, Showman Art, uh, thank you for your sponsorship as well. If you haven't seen his art, go to showmanart.com. That's S-H-O-M-A-N art.com. He not only does the best MMA art in the business, uh, any fighter you want, Anderson, the Spider Silva, whoever, he not only does the best MMA art, he's the best artist, period. Any sport, he's just quality, man. So if you get a chance to go uh, to his website, hit it up, Buy his stuff because it's amazing, amazing stuff. And uh, most of the most of the fighters, uh, they truly respect him as an artist because of uh, how he portrays them, and it's just a quality that you know only comes around once a generation. So hit him up, uh, and and thank you again uh, for for helping me out. He's he's backed me up quite a few times in my ventures over the years, and uh, he's just a quality quality guy. So with that. Boom. Swing and miss time. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, I had a really good week last week. I'm going to toot my own horn. You know why? Because when I swing and miss, I let you know about it. If there was a swing and miss, it would probably be asking you guys to bench Eli because uh, he did have three touchdowns, but he also had a pick, only had 212 yards passing. And so it wasn't a true swing and miss. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like Auburn or BYU in the past. I had a really good week. I truly did. So, swing and miss this week, disappointing you guys a little bit, but I'm happy with myself. So, I think that's quality uh, in its own right. Um, and now with sports, how good a week did I have? 23 correct, 6 wrong, 6 ties. That's my overall record. So, for you betters out there, and, and again, that to me... It has to be a better's wet dream. You know what I'm saying? If you place all those bets, haystacks, buddy, haystacks. Uh, so this week's picks, I'm going to go right into it, okay? Uh, NFL, I'm going to take Detroit over Arizona, and I'll tell you why. It's not the sexy pick. Everyone is taking Arizona, and again, my picks, 23-6-6, six, and six, ladies and gentlemen, I'm picking the tough games. I'm not giving you cream puffs. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you the tough games, and I'm calling them. You, all you do is have to listen, okay? Everyone's going to tell you to take your, uh, take Arizona. It's in Detroit, okay? And Matthew Stafford is a hell of a quarterback. I don't know if you heard of this guy. He puts up numbers upon numbers, and I get it. It's not an individual game. But they also got a guy called Megatron. I don't know if you heard of the Transformers, but they're badass. And if you got a guy named Megatron, you're going to win. So go with them. Go ahead and take Detroit over Arizona. I'm going to take the Chiefs over the Bears, okay? Uh, two teams that, uh, you know, Chiefs are up and down, Bears are struggling, but I'm taking the Chiefs over the Bears. And my lock it up pick, my lock it up pick is not going to be sexy. And why is that? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I am betting against my Bengals. Now, these are my two favorite teams in the NFL, ladies and gentlemen. You got the Seattle Seahawks and you got the Cincinnati Bengals, both teams I've rooted for for a very, very long time. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to tell you this right now. The sexy pick is Cincinnati. This is a win-win for me. I'm calling it my lock it up for Seattle to beat Cincy, okay? But if I'm wrong, I don't give a shit. Why don't I give a shit, T-Bone? Well, let me tell you, man. Last time the Bengals started 5-0, thank you, Big D, for giving me this information, they made it to the Super Bowl. So if I lose this pick, great. We're going to go on a Super Bowl run. But 
I have a sneaky feeling Seattle's going to go in there, the Legion of Boom's going to go in there, and it's going to be a different issue. Go ahead and stick with Seattle as lock it up pick of the week. Now, uh, NCAA football. I'm going to go ahead. Listen, Missouri over Florida. Take it. Everyone's like, what, what, are, you, what are you thinking? Florida? Missouri over Florida. That's a pick. Uh, just take it. Utah uh, over Cal. Utah's, <laughs> they are impressing me week in and week out. And, you know, they're definitely the better team. We won't talk about BYU in the great state of Utah. Now, uh, my lock it up pick of the week is going to be uh, Michigan over Northwestern. So, we have international break this week. I'm not going to do any football slash soccer picks for you guys. Uh, we'll wait till they come back from the international break, and then I'll hit those back up for you. Now, fantasy sports last week, if you guys would have listened to me, take Eli out of the, you know, he still finished average overall, right? Take Eli out as far as benching him. It didn't really hurt you one way or another or shouldn't have. But if you would have started Hill, like I told you to, You'd have busted your league's ass last week because that dude went for what? Not one? Two? No. Did he go for three touchdowns? I think he did. And a two-point conversion. So you need to listen up. You need to hear me out. That's what I got for you. So this week, Justin Forsett, running back. He will run all over a terrible, 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 terrible against the run Cleveland defense. So you got to go with him. You got to go with him. And who do I want you to sit this week? Well, think about it. I already told you the Legion of Boom is going into Cincinnati. Sit Dalton's ass. I love the red rifle, but that red-headed stepchild going to throw three picks. You heard it here first. Go ahead and sit Andy Dalton. He will hurt you this week fantasy-wise. Okay. Uh, that being said, uh, one of my favorite sections, the WTF of the week. And this is so easy. It just happened last night. Did you guys catch the Cubs-Pirates game? Classic, classic game. I realized it was 4 nothing, but there was a lot of drama, a lot of intricacies of the game. If you caught it, it was a really, really good game. I feel sorry for the Pittsburgh fans. Uh, they, they've been great this year, um, and I know I'm a big, uh, I'm sorry, Reds guy, and I really love that division. Uh, the Cubbies, they earned it. They truly, truly did earn it. Now, my WTF, though, <laughs> Rodriguez, okay? Uh, Sean Rodriguez of the Pittsburgh Pirates decided to go ahead and and after the bench is clear, there was some issues. He goes into his dugout, and that damn Gatorade cooler did not stand a chance. I mean, he hit him with the right, a left, boom, 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 knocked him straight out. It was cold. And he had good form. I think I saw some elbows tucked in. I mean, look, are you thinking, Sean Rodriguez, you're in the middle of a playoff game, and you go ape shit on the cooler because you're mad at yourself, and I think the dugout felt it. You felt it. You guys were going down for the count and out of the playoffs. And I get it, but you got to have more composure than that if you ever, ever, ever want to be a championship. It would be a champion, excuse me, and win a championship. And I'm telling you right now, you have to have that mentality to be able to push through those kind of obstacles. And man, the cooler felt it. You did well. You had great form. But dude, get your head on straight. What time is it? Geek time. All right. Now, normally I got a video game for you. I got a loot crate or something kind of cool for you. I don't have that today. Today, I want to talk about the Topps Kick app. They finally updated the app the way it should have been. And I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to go ahead and rate the app. The app right now gets 2.5 pork chops out of a possible five. And that's after the update. Here's why. Topps doesn't communicate shit. Let's keep it real. They had a question and answer session today, and that was all nice. And it seemed like it was catered more to the, to the uh, big spenders and the guys asking questions and whatnot. But you guys still haven't addressed the needs. The app still crashes. You know, you don't do beta testing before you do a big release like that. And I appreciate the concept that you wanted to go with, and I appreciate all the hard work that went into that app as far as the update for this year for Kick 16. But you guys fucked it up. Let's keep it real. You fucked it up. So now you had to revert back to basically a Bunt app, right? Which Bunt's awesome. But you could have done that from the beginning. You could have also beta test. And you could have also asked some of us veterans to help you out with that. Which you didn't. Because guess what? You guys got your heads up your asses. So, 2.5 pork chops? That's me being nice. I'll tell you that right now. Me being nice. So, look. Take it for what it is. 
I think uh, I think the app has much potential for growth now that you've gone back to it, and it could very well go up. But you know what? Fuck up this points chase. I dare you to fuck up the next points chase because if you do, there's going to be a mass exodus again, and I don't think you can save it with a simple change like you just did. You're on notice, Tops Kick. On notice. Now, with that, I like to go to questions uh, from my subscribers, and I'm getting more and more in, which is awesome. Which means I'm getting a lot of a lot of feedback. And again, I'm going to be adding graphics. I'm going to be doing my best to edit. I got my iMac in thanks to you, Carl Taylor. You man, you really hooked it up, and I'm pretty excited about this. I will be giving a tour of the headquarters. I had a couple fans say, "Hey, what is that? What is it?" I'm going to give a complete tour at another time. I'm still working on it. I'm I'm still trying to get better. And um, also, I've got a kit coming in from Over the Pond, which is pretty cool. And what I'm going to do is if you guys send me jerseys or anything, I'm going to give you a little hi history behind each jersey. You know, uh, this particular jersey, when it comes in, it's gonna be, I'll give you a nice little historical data. You can learn about the team that, that's being sent in and their history. And I think it's kind of cool. As sports fans, we get to learn about other people's teams and other people, you know, in the States, soccer's not as big, but in England it is, and there's quite a history there, and I think it'd be neat for us to learn about it. So that's what I'm going to provide to you. If you guys want to send that stuff in, that's great. Um, hit me up again, tboneconeprimecuts at gmail.com, and I'll send you my address. You let me know, and again, I'll uh, give you full credit, and we're going to go right into the questions, okay? Um, I've got Danny M. from Chicago. What's the most uh, anticipated? <laughs> What's the most anticipated video game for you? Um, I'm going to tell you right now, and, and you guys know I love video games. Tom Clancy's The uh, the Division. That game is not due out until next March. So, before I get started on, on why that's an exciting game for me, understand this. This game comes out next March. If I get 2,500 subscribers on YouTube by next March, I'm sending a random subscriber a free video game. I just sent out today... A random subscriber, a 50 count uh, soccer card, game changer of Eden Hazard. So understand this. My giveaways are real. You're going to be getting these, and I'll announce who they are. And um, yeah, bottom line is if you guys make a push for me, I'm going to push for you. I'm going to buy you that video game, and I'm going to send it to you, and you're going to enjoy it, hopefully. Anyway, but this Tom Clancy's The Division, while I like it, it's a little bit different. You know, you've had all the Call of Duties, and I love Call of Duties. Call of Duties and sports games are my two favorite video games, okay? But The Division, there's a lot to be desired in it. There, or there's a lot that whets your appetite. Let me put it that way. When you look at it, when you watch the videos, please look it up, Google it, check it out. Tom Clancy's The Division, that is going to be the game that I most anticipate, and especially when you want to get a group of friends online, that's the game you want to get. So, uh, to answer your question, Danny, great question. That's the one, the division. Okay, Carrie P. from Aurora, Colorado. Aurora, Colorado, that's weird. That's right down the road. Anyway, um, you asked, um, hey, was it fair that Joe Philbin got fired by the Dolphins? Look, it's going to be harsh, right? Four games into his fourth season, the guy's fired. You're like, ah, four games in, what's the deal? Look, if you're overseas, if you're in the English Premier League, and you, and you, <laughs> he wouldn't have lasted two years. I'm just going to put it that way. The demand for excellence is there. And in the NFL, he he went a year longer than probably he should have. He People want to complain about injuries and this and that. But let me tell you something. Both Seattle and the Patriots went into the Super Bowl with a lot of injuries. Injury is a part of the game. Um, it's the coach's job to prepare that team. He failed. He failed the Dolphins. The Dolphins fired him. Was it fair? Absolutely. He should have been fired probably a year ago. Anyway, thank you. Please send in your questions to me. Uh, I I plan many, many more things. I'm getting, I, I feel like I'm getting better, and I hope that um, I can provide you the content that you guys are looking for. More graphics on the way. I've got a lot of things in the works, and I know I keep saying that, but you're going to see them. Like I said, I just gave out a Eden Hazard uh, Game Changer that went out today, and uh, the giveaways are real, and they're going to be plentiful. So please follow, and um, until next time, T Bone out.